developer's mode is a special version of the game that I've been using for years uh, to demonstrate it to publishers and journalists. So Ken is uh, arriving uh, in the beginning of the game and he's going to hit that big F11 button. F11, well done Ken, which uh, activates the cheat menu. You can give yourself any piece of equipment or item you want, including things we ultimately didn't put in the game. I think he just equipped the Xander butter knife set. Uh, you can also teleport to any location in the game, and that includes actually areas you're not supposed to go to, like uh, here Ken is walking around in a house you normally only see when you're customizing your character. Obviously you can also level up or give yourself uh, any skills that you want, or increase whatever stats you can think of. You could also activate uh, Super Zirani mode, that's a very very special mode named after one of the developers. It makes you powerful, but it also makes you incredibly fast. The console gives you access to all kinds of uh, story commands and one of them allows you to actually turn yourself into any creature that you encounter in the game, which is a rather fun thing. And actually for some time we thought of exploiting this and make a shape-shifting RPG as a follow-up to Divinity 2, but that didn't happen because obviously we're now working on Original Sin. In Divinity 2 you could uh, fly as a dragon, but not everywhere. There were zones where we didn't allow you to turn into a dragon and with Death Cut you don't have that constraint. You can activate the dragon mode pretty much wherever you want. Flying in Broken Valley, for instance, was something a lot of people wanted to do, but they never could. And uh, as you can see, you don't have to be a dragon, you could actually take on the shape of a flying undead or something like that. So uh, there you have it, uh, Divinity 2 Developer's Cut. It's the way that we've been playing the game uh, during the years that we were developing it. And now you can fool around with it and most likely you will discover all kinds of secrets which we didn't want you to discover when uh, we released the original game.